the major skills that are being tested in this question is first your ability to truly own the data set you have to truly truly own the data set here there is no other way second skill is tabulating can you represent the data in a form that helps you solve the question more efficiently third thing is you need to have a strategy in place how do you eliminate all the options how do you reach the right answer what is your strategy going to be correct so yeah with that said let us enter into the question so what do we have here we have five co-workers and we have three project right so first of all we need to tabulate this right so i'll be putting just the letters so here i have tabulated my data let us move ahead each worker will work on exactly one of these project so what does it mean it basically means that every column can just have one tick for example f can only work on spreadsheet and nothing else so one tick and two process that is what we understood from the statement so just one on every column one tick per column that is what we have understood here second statement is exactly one worker but not who will work on the spreadsheet so for the spreadsheet row there will be just one tick and this will definitely not be hua so these are our boundary condition what other conditions we have the co-workers manager will not assign any workers who are close friends to work together on a project the question arises how do we know who are close friends right so that answer we get ahead lines in the graph connect two names if and only if the two individuals are close friends so what does this mean say for example f is given a brochure work and since f is close friend with everyone nobody else can work on brochure correct so with these points in place, these boundary conditions in place, we'll have to play along. Now we need to make a proper strategy, how we will go about solving the question. Select from each drop down menu that creates the most accurate statement, assuming the constraint described in the passage are adhered to. One of these three could be assigned to work on the brochure if and only if GAN is assigned to work on brochure report or spreadsheet. So what my strategy would be? My strategy would be, I'll take K first. I'll put all the conditions on K, right? Then I'll move ahead and put G. I'll put all the conditions in place. Then I would see G with respect to brochure. Then I would see G with respect to report. And then I would see G with respect to a spreadsheet. Now, if there is no violation and this condition gets fulfilled, I'll move on to next. If both the conditions get fulfilled, it means that this cannot be our answer because we need one definite answer, right? Then if these two conditions get fulfilled, then I'll move ahead. And also if this condition gets fulfilled and this doesn't get fulfilled, I'll still check for this. Again, if two condition gets fulfilled, I'll have to move to next. There is no other way. Then again, I'll put J at the center, put conditions on him, then put G uh, and then put the conditions on uh, G. Then we'll see G with respect to brochure. We'll see G with respect to report. Then we'll see G with respect to spreadsheet. Again, if we get only uh, one tick and other two crosses, then we have our answer or else we do not. We'll move forward, right? So with this strategy in place, let us try putting in the ticks and crosses. So let us put K first. What are the condition? K could be assigned to brochure. K is being assigned to a brochure. Nice. So if he's assigned on brochure, then he cannot be assigned anywhere else. Only if GAN is assigned to work on we need to okay now when k is assigned on brochure fang cannot be assigned on brochure that is for sure because he is its friend close friend right now this is the only condition so this done we have put the conditions now we have to put gan with respect to brochure gan with respect to brochure gan is here then h cannot be here and f cannot be here already not there cool no worries and already two crosses in the h column so we can put a tick pretty confidently here and if h is working on report then gan cannot be working on report right gan cannot be working on report and then g can also not be working on report so we have process here so did we violate any condition till now we have not violated any conditions till now now one of these two places i can put a tick right now say for example i put a tick for j in brochure j in brochure so f and h cannot be here f and h are not there already no problem then here it would be a cross because only one tick and here one tick needs to be there so there will be a tick here which means there will be a cross here 
again so no conditions are getting violated so this can be there now we'll move back and see if we can put uh, g with respect to r that is what we need to see so i'll quickly remove all my tick marks in exam what you need to do is very quickly make multiple tables and keep on filling the data now let's put k again on brochure and see what are conditions if k is here then f cannot be here that is for k now we'll put g with respect to report we'll put g on report if g is on report f cannot be f cannot be on report h cannot be on report one tick is must for h if h has a tick here then j and both g and g cannot be here not present not here so already one tick in g so this cannot be here now if g is on report then f and h cannot be on report not on report again again no conditions are violated till this point of time now uh, for spreadsheet uh, say uh, uh, there's already two cross for f so one uh, f is working on the spreadsheet here if f is working on the spreadsheet nobody else can work on spreadsheet because only one tick was required here which ultimately leads that j would be working on report if j is working on report who cannot work h and f cannot work are h and f working no they are not working so this condition is also met so basically two conditions are met though so thus this cannot be the answer so here the k cannot be the answer for this question now let us move to the next step as we have decided in our strategy how we'll be going about this what do we have now we'll put uh, g uh, we we'll put j for brochure so let's put j for brochure which means he cannot work here he cannot work here if j is working as brochure then h and f cannot work h cannot work f cannot work on brochure two crosses already here that means h will have to work on report if h works on a report then g cannot work on a report and uh, uh, j is already not working on a report correct so this is what we have got by our preliminary conditions till this point of time now let me change my pen color so i'll have to uh, remove a bit less so as we could already see we cannot put g uh, sorry we can put g on brochure now so okay so we'll put g on brochure now so g is on brochure if g is on brochure it cannot be here and if g is on brochure then f and h cannot be on brochure already not there fine no worries till this point of time what else uh for k we do not have a tick for f till now so we cannot know what k and uh, so say for example this time we put a tick we put a f on spreadsheet if f is working on spreadsheet there will be a cross here and there will be a cross here as well so again no conditions are being violated till this point of time if h is working then k can work here also or k can work here also there is no problem as such so this stays as of right now correct we are just seeing that if a condition gets violated conditions were not violated now let's put g on report now as you could see g cannot be put on report so a condition gets violated here already so so this cannot be here now can we put g on spreadsheet if we put g on spreadsheet here this means g cannot be here nothing else can be here uh, here there has to be a tick f has to work on report but if f is working on report he is friend with everyone he cannot work with anyone so this condition also gets violated so in this case as we see if we put j on the brochure only one of the three conditions is being met and thus this is our answer so hopefully you have understood how we have gone about this i highly highly recommend uh, doing this on your own so what are the key lessons here what did we learn first thing was about owning the data set we owned the data set we read through each and every line made proper inferences at each and every stage this table was of utmost important this we should always always try to visualize our data in a way that helps us solve questions quickly the third thing that was very important was our strategy to go through the options because here there are three choices here there are three choices three into three a total of nine possibilities are there now a very important thing is during the exam on your writing pad you should make multiple such tables fastly and quickly and simply just do tick cross tick cross so that you are able to reach at a conclusion so yeah three things own the data set tabulate the data and strategically move forward from one option to another hope it helps